In this video lesson, you will learn position 3 of the blues scale, along with some great licks you can use within this position to start adding some blues spice into your guitar solos. Let's get straight into it. As part 2 of this series was based around the key of G, then I will continue this lesson in the same key. And as the blues scale is simply the minor pentatonic scale with one added note, let's start with position 3 of the minor pentatonic scale, which looks like this. The next step is to identify the root notes. In this case, as we are in the key of G, then these would be the G notes within the scale, placed here and here. As discussed in part 2 of this series, we can identify the flat 5 interval or blue note within the scale by counting up 3 notes, starting from and including the root note in the minor pentatonic scale. So let's count up 3 notes from both root note locations in position 3 of the minor pentatonic scale. 1, 2, 3. And now simply place a note a half step or fret up from the third note in the scale, revealing two locations we could place the flat 5 interval, otherwise known as the blue note within the minor pentatonic scale, which we can now call position 3 of the blue scale. Now let's take a look at a few licks you can use within position 3 of the blue scale to start incorporating this into your own playing style. Now I'll show you three licks, one for each blues note found within this position. So that's the blues note here, the blues note here, and the blues note here. So let's start with the first blues note. Here's the lick. And now let's break it down. So we're going to start by sliding from the blues note on the low E string on the 9th fret up to the 10th fret, followed by the 8th fret and the 10th fret on the A string, the 8th fret again but on the D string, so so far. Now, when you get here, you want to roll back to the 8th fret on the A string, like this. Followed by the 10th fret on the low E string. So, so far. Now what we're going to do is go down to the 8th fret on the low E string and hammer on and pull off to the blues note and back again. And then briefly dip into position 2 of the blues scale, which is down here on the 6th fret of the low E string. And you want to do that all with one pick motion. You can also slide this if you prefer. And then we're going to finish with the root note on the A string, 10th fret. And up to speed. Let's hear that with the backing track. based around the second note found within the blue scale on the 11th fret of the D string. So inside of the scale that looks like this. Here's the lick. Let's break that one down. So we're going to start by hammering on and pulling off to the blues note and back again from the 10th fret of the D string to the 11th fret of the D string followed by a pull off to the first finger on the 8th fret of the D string. So, so far. Then we're going to play the 10th fret of the A string, roll over to the 10th fret of the D string, back to the 10th fret of the A string, first finger on the 8th fret. So, so far. Then we're going to re-pick this one again on the 8th fret and return to the 10th fret of the A string with our 3rd finger. So I'll slow that down. Now as we played a root note for our final note, we're also going to finish that with another root note found here, on the B string. So... And nice and slow. Let's hear that with the backing track.
Lick number three is going to be based around the third blues note found in position three of the blues scale. Inside of the scale, that's here. So first of all, let's play the lick. Once again. Okay, let's break this one down. The first thing we need to do is bend the note found on the 10th fret, which is a D, all the way up to the note found on the 13th fret, which is an F. So that's a tone and a half bend. After bending, we need to re-pick the note once we come back down again. So. After this, we need to play the blues note, which is found here on the 9th fret, followed by a hammer-on pull-off, from the 8th fret to the 9th fret and back again. So it's a hammer on pull off. After this, we need to bend the note found on the 11th fret of the B string, just slightly sharp, like a blues curl. Followed by the first finger on the 8th fret of the B string. So. Then we're going to reach the 10th fret on the G string, followed by the same little blues curl we did on the 11th fret, and then finally finishing on the root note on the 8th fret of the B string. Let's hear that one over a backing track.